Good morning people, this is Rodney Van Alstein, living well on half an acre, Shepherd's Path Farm. Today we're uh, taking the peaches out of the dehydrator, and man, I tasted these, and these things are delicious. They are going to be so good in our homemade granola. Uh, granola, uh, man, the, uh, what do you call that stuff, trail mix, man, this this stuff's going to be delicious. Making the thing stick to the thing a little bit. Gotta be careful so I don't pop it and everything goes flying. But you can see how these dried out quite a bit. And they are so nice. They're just a pliable like leather and they're chewy and just concentrated sweetness they're really delicious and I'm just putting them all here in this bowl um, we got uh, probably another dehydrator full to go but I'm gonna show you a little bit about what we're doing here I got a few more videos to do on uh, different things and then we're going to take a break but uh, I wanted to show you these also just to let you know that the, this is Better Homes and Gardens jar lids there's a dozen of them in, in this pack I got them uh, sale at uh, Walmart for a dollar a pack I must have bought 50 of these packs of, of jar lids for a, t a dozen of them at a time for a buck a piece and I tell you what, when uh, times are hard as they are now, you got to look for your sales. Got to look for your sales. But uh, I just wanted to. You seen on, in that other video how many uh, peaches we were doing, and how we were doing it with the citric acid bath after we uh, cleaned them out. You know. We washed them, we cut the bugs out of them, and we ended up with a lot of nice pieces of peaches. And the best thing to do when you get uh, peaches that are kind of mangled, you know, that you can't uh, like soak in the boiling water because they're all cut up, um, you can wash them and you can dehydrate them and not have to worry about it. And you're still saving all your peaches. But uh, you can see there's quite a bit of peaches in there and they are just, they're delicious. They're, some of them are thin and crumbly, but there's other ones that are real pliable. You know, they're, they're, they're real pliable. They're like leather. And now we're going to put them in the jars. Find my little funnel. Can you get me a washcloth? Mm-hmm. I don't have any in here. I'll have to go in the back. Okay, let me. I haven't been able to get my beautiful assistant to. Uh, go on the camera yet so you're gonna have to bear with us but uh, we are de uh, we are uh, dehydrating our peaches you gotta understand we're not uh, movie stars or nothing we're just trying to show people how to survive in these old uh, in, in, in these hard times, you know, you got to do what you got to do to survive. And I think I'm going to get more than four quarts out of these, which is awesome. Thank you. This is a really cool way to preserve your peaches. Oops, dropping them all over the place. 
and they taste good. This is a cool way to preserve your peaches and a cool way to, to store food, you know. I think I might just get uh, exactly four quarts. Now, I'll tell you what, four quarts is better than no quarts. <laughs> you know, some people like them canned, some people, you know, like to do things up, up, you know, weird ways or whatever. But the way I like to do it is the way that works. And this happens to work for us. And I mean, once you uh, get these dried out, you want to dry them out quite a bit to get the moisture out of them. So, uh, because if there's any moisture in them, I've noticed that uh, they will actually mold in the in the jar. And if you get them that mold in the jar, you know that you haven't uh, dried them out enough. A little bit more in the far back. Huh? Yeah. In the far back. But, uh, you gotta go by, you know, learn by your mistakes. I like the dry, you know, it's like the, the drier they are, the better they'll seal and the longer they'll last. You don't want uh, any moisture inside the jar, but on the other hand, you got to take a moist rag and wipe your jar lid, you know, the, the rim of the jar, just lightly to get any dust or debris out off of the jars because it will, uh, if there's anything on there, it'll make them, uh, the seal break, and then oxygen and, and so forth is able to get in there. You know, optimally, uh, it would be best if you put an oxygen absorber inside the jar, but uh, we have not been able to have the fundage or whatever to do that at this point in time. Maybe they seal later. They pretty good on their own. They, they usually uh, seal very good on their own and, and stay good. But uh, you use a, just a damp cloth, not soaking, dripping wet. You know, just wring it out really good and just a damp cloth to go over your seals. And what that does is it just makes it pliable for when you're vacuum sealing it and it makes a good seal. It doesn't uh, put a whole lot of moisture or nothing in there and it works very well for us. When you get a vacuum sealer, you they don't usually come with uh, the sealer for the jars, the vacuum sealer for the jars so you have to go on the internet and find them and we uh, bought it I think it was like ten or fifteen dollars or some such thing maybe thirty dollars I don't care but uh, we got it and it lasts a long, good long time and uh, what I'm doing here is I'm uh, moistening the, the gasket on the lids and now this is what the this is what the uh, sealer the jar sealer looks like it's a uh, it's food saver and uh, what this does is it fits right over top of the jar you wanna has a gasket in there a little thing and you just gotta make sure it's down on top of there right you get your hose and you gotta mash it down in that little hole there for the accessory port and got to make sure it's all the way down because there's a little ball bearing down in there you got to push it all the way down where it, it uh, uh, opens that ball bearing port and then this goes in there and you just raise this up and when you push this down you got a hands free light you just push this down on both sides until that green light comes on you see the green light comes on you can let go of it and what it does is it makes a vacuum inside and it forces the vacuum to go through the hose instead when that light goes off it, the motor will stop running you can't see. 
the motor will stop running and when this light goes off that's when you pull the hose off of the the jar like that and you hear that vacuum seal and what that it, it uh, seals the jar when you pull that hose off it goes and, and it and it makes the vacuum in the jar and there you go you got uh, a sealed jar of dehydrated peaches with uh, the maximum amount of oxygen out of there and there we go we do that four times and we got four jars of dehydrated peaches that are vacuum sealed people out there that are meat eaters and that don't uh, understand why people do this but well we happen to be vegetarian and vegan for the most part and we like our food you can also wait until the peach seasons almost over ideally most um, fruit stands or farmers markets the peaches are pretty expensive at the beginning of the season when they're all out but if you wait a little while and um, wait until the prices start going down but not wait till the fruit is just too ripened to get a better deal and then dehydrating would be or making peach jam or peach syrup just wait until they're, they're um, not all the way ripened but ripe to the point where you can still use them and they're still usable pretty much like what we have here you'll find great deals at farmers markets and fruit stands if you live out in the country and even if you don't you could drive out of the city a little bit and find pretty good deals For that green light to go off you hear that pop that there's what I'm talking about that's when it sealed the jar and there it is you don't have to have <clears throat> your own peach trees to be able to do this you can go out and get fresh peaches from the store and be able to do this but it does help if you have a dehydrator and it helps if you get them on sale at a farmers market It's also good to try and uh, find fruit in season when they're more apt to be, you know, the least expensive because if they're out of season, fruit tend to be more expensive. So try to plan your dehydrating your fruit around the time that it comes into season because you get a better price on it. A lot of people think, you know, that uh, you, you don't have to put a, a ring on it when the uh, thing is sealed. I like to put a ring on it and tighten it down tight and that just makes it makes the seal all that more um, uh, Exact you know It just makes that seal that more tight where it ain't gonna allow the air to go back and forth or whatever, but uh there we go, we got f four quarts of dehydrated peaches and when you're ready to use these you just put them in a bowl of water if, or you can eat them the way they are you put them in a bowl of water and they will come back about uh, 60 to 80 percent of what they were you know it, it, they'll take on the moisture and so forth you can make pies or you know whatever you want to do put them in a fruit salad
I mean, or just there, let your kids eat them. It's you, a good you, snack. you can just open the open the jar and let your kids eat them. That's a good snack. I mean, they're delicious. You know, it's like a just packed with uh, concentrated sweetness, chewy goodness. All natural. All natural. This is the end of my uh, dehydrating peaches videos. Uh, there was only two, so. Uh, if you're if this is your first one you're watching be sure to check out the first one and uh, thanks for watching y'all have a blessed day this is Rodney Van Alstein with living well on half an acre Shepherd's Path Farms uh, be sure and continue to uh, watch uh, subscribe to my videos we have many more videos that we're going to be doing and uh, Pretty soon we're going to be vacuum sealing uh, some soybeans, so keep a lookout. Y'all have a blessed day. Rodney Van Alstein signing off. Bye-bye.